And we are getting a first-hand look now inside a massive project underway. It will change the way people in Montgomery and Prince George's counties get their water. Our John Gonzalez explains. After dealing with major flooding in Laurel, hundreds of evacuations and floodgates opened at the Howard Duckett Dam. Rock, when it's excavated, it's called muck, and it was all pulled out from this location. WSSC can now get back to refocusing on its long-running project to keep up with the area's development and growth. Right now, there's a little bit of a constriction. We have large mains that have been planned since the 1970s to provide the, the backbone of the distribution system. And this has been sort of the, the missing link. This is the Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission's new bi-county water tunnel that will support thousands of customers in Prince George's and Montgomery. Environmental impacts and the community disruption necessitated us to, to come up with an alternate way of construction, hence we did it as a tunnel. During our tour of the water facility today in Kensington, a construction crane lowered us in a secured cage down the 160-foot shaft into the massive steel and concrete tunnel. The first thing I see is a bicycle that resembles something out of the Wizard of Oz. We did this with our inspectors because um, it's four miles to get to the other end. And you know, it, it, it's a long, it's a long walk. This new 5.3 mile pipeline will connect two existing water mains, one at Tuckerman Lane in Rockville, the other at Rock Creek Park. It will carry about 100 million gallons of water each day. Work on this project began in the summer of 2009 and is expected to be completed and running by next year. What you're seeing is not the natural rock on the sides, but they put some shotcrete on to keep the you know, any pieces of rock from falling in. In Kensington, John Gonzalez, ABC 7 News.